Hey, welcome back. We are on week 51, which is actually the culmination. It is our final fable. It is the fable of She Shaman. And the She Shaman is your muse. She's the one who carries the gift of your creativity. And the fable is all about how one day she recognizes through another being that in order to, that she's not in the place to be able to bestow gifts upon people. Everyone has their gift. And so the idea here is that we get to choose whether or not our gift will grow with us or go from us. And that's the idea, the general idea behind the creation card. So when we look at creation and we see the she shaman, she resembles very much an ancient. She has a, a, a magical energy that is surrounding her and she brings the idea of universal consciousness and a spirituality to those of us who are creators. So when I see she shaman coming forward, she really is bringing us a message of our muse of stepping into the greatest potential of what we have to give to each other. So the, here I go again. <sighs> so the idea here is that um, the quote from the fable says, I will guide you to your muse. And yet what's really interesting is she stops being a guide. So then how does that happen? Well, if we go back to the prior week, we can see how confusion builds into our answer, into recognizing that nobody's going to come and give it to us. Nobody's going to say, oh, here's your answer. Here's what you need to know. Here it is just on the silver pit. Here, you know, just here it is on this piece of paper. Our answer is going to come because ultimately when it says, I will guide you to your muse, who's speaking to us is our higher consciousness. I will guide you. And that is the, the beauty. If we look at the culmination, you know, if you follow tarot at all, the ace of pentacles becomes the highest card in the minor arcana. Well, in many ways, creation becomes the culmination of everything we started with back in the renewal card in the, in the geranium fable, the very first fable, 49 weeks ago, actually 50 weeks ago now. So when we started, we looked at being pulled up from who we were, not knowing what would happen to us. And we've had messages along the way that we were going to be okay. So when we look at this year, the question I say to you is that, have you noticed who you've become in these past 51 weeks now? So Let's take, a, and again, I say 51 because next week is our actual completion week. But this week, let's look at the fable. So the final fable, we're given the gift of our own intuitive creation. She Shaman offers you a path into the artist's journey and reminds you that you already have everything you need. Every tool that you've gained, every fable that you've absorbed, every angel that has journeyed with you this year will always be with you. Tori's tip. In this final, highly intuitive week of our journey together, She Shaman comes forward to show you how to use the spiritual toolkit that you've gathered. We return full circle to the conversation that took place in the red chakra about bringing your creativity to the earth plane. This is your legacy. Your voice is now heard. And it's very interesting because so much of the the work with the, with these particular, excuse me, the work with these fables and also the, so much of the feedback I've gotten from people who have worked with me. One of the big things they've said is, gosh, I found my voice again. And I think that's so interesting overall is that finding our voice is so much more than the voice. It's expression. It's who we are. It's everything about us and discovering who we are is really the gift of living. So that said, let's take a look at, because again, I'm not going to read the fable because I really want you to read the fable. And I would love to hear this week, your impression 
of what she shaman means to you. After you've read the fable, what you see. The first impressions. When we were children, we looked to others for our survival. This fable explores the idea of waiting for someone else to give us permission or approval to do something. It also shows us how we can push back energetically. She shaman is given feedback and she listens and changes our forever. Oh wait, is she shaman is given feedback and she listens and changes forever. So she actually does change her own destiny even as the she shaman. So when you look at someone who's supposed to be in a, and this is kind of a key thing, who's supposed to be in a, in a, in a place of um, authority, right? If we look at it, we, we look at that as someone who's supposed to be in a place of authority. One of the things we want to say is that, hmm, are they teachable? And I'll never forget, I was at, um, it was St. Monica's uh, church in uh, Santa Monica when I lived there years ago. And I remember um, the, the priest um, had, was really, I could tell he was working a 12 step program. He was really working on his drinking and all of that. And he, he shared with the congregation a, an experience about how he went somewhere and they said, oh, could you make the coffee? And he was like, for a moment, he, he was like, he bristled, like, do you know who I am? I'm Monsignor. You know, he was Monsignor, that's it. And, and he was like, you know, he bristled for a moment. And then he stopped and he said, no, I'm here to be a servant, a servant of the Lord. And what happened was after that, I had such a profound respect for this man. And I never cared for him. Either way, if that makes sense. I wasn't like, oh, he's so great. And I wasn't, he's terrible. I just never really had a connection to him until he said that. And I remember going up to him and saying, Monsignor, I'm really, I'm really, I wanted to share with you. And he's like, yes. And I go, well, I really love the idea of people I learn from being teachable. And so that's the thing is that as long as someone you're learning from is always being teachable and is always bending and growing and, and changing their mind, growing, that's, that's the thing that we forget. That's part of life is that we sometimes keep people in a particular position in our mind, but yet they've already grown past it. So the question I bring to you is, are you teachable? Are you picking people in your life that are teachable and willing to be there in a conscious choice with you? So as we look at this, I want to just look at this part, which is that um, setting your intention this final week. She Shaman reminds you that you have everything you need to create whatever you desire. Are you seeing something here? The trend of really every week, there is the validation that you have everything you need. It just keeps coming. And that's something that the fables will really bring to you. I really encourage you, if you haven't already, to go get Origin of the Cards and the Chakra Wisdom Essentials, which are actually on my website. Those are downloads. And I have to tell you, you'll get even deeper insight into what we've been, what you've been through as well in this past year. So anyway, she shaman reminds you that, okay, um, this week set an intention to think about how you can use all the tools you've gathered during this past year to forge ahead on your own path. Remember, she shaman has already given you your gift. Which of your four grandparents has given you a legacy? And so I'm going to invite you later on your own to just go into a meditative state and really look at who gave you the gift of something you have today. And I'm going to share with you it just my, my revelation in this has been that my grandfather was, he spoke 13 languages and he had come over from um, Austria, which was Hungary, Germany, uh, turn of the century. And he, a lot of the Croatians would be arrested in America. He was lived in Canton, Ohio, and they couldn't, in, they couldn't speak English. So they would just be jailed and that was it. The cops would accuse them of any crime that was, you know, that was, you know, there. And my grandfather uh, worked for the police department. And after his shift, he would go down to the courthouse and he would be an interpreter and he would interpret what these people were saying and many 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 of them went free so he helped he helped the interpretation 
of an understanding. And ironically, look at the gift. I mean, for me, it was looking at the gift of, oh my gosh, I interpret, I interpret for people. And you know, my, in my work, it's taking challenging conversations and making them simple. So that's why my slogan has always been enlightenment made simple, because it really is that simple when we are willing to face it. So I'm going to ask you this week to just write below which aspect of what I've shared tonight, but also what is in this what is in this section of the cards um, of, of uh, She Shaman. I'm going to ask you to write down what you, what has come forward to you as one of the most valuable things that you've worked with in this. And when did you join and did you, were you here consistently or not? And I'm gonna guarantee nobody was because it's a long journey. And sometimes, you know, it's like taking a class of any kind, you know, sometimes we're on an airplane, sometimes we are doing something else and we can't be present in that moment. So I'd like to hear your thoughts and how this experience has affected you. Please comment below. And I look forward to seeing you next week. As we process this week, remember you have everything you need. You have everything you need to take those next steps. Next week, we'll look at our personal completion and how we respond to endings. What becomes important in that is when we look at our response to endings, it's really, remember how we relate to the issue is the issue. So if you feel you're held back, we're gonna look at how you approach completion. And I'll see you in our final week next week.